You're watching the Quicksilver Pro, the first event of the World Surf League Championship Tour as we get things started quickly with Ian Gouveia representing Brazil, taking on Adriano de Souza. Loves this backhand attack here on the walls of Snapper Rocks. Solid vertical power hack to kick things off against the former world champ. And still a bonus section to work with down the stretch. It has been a radical morning. Just lost Matt Wilkinson. Medina survived his battle with Leo Firavante in the rematch from round one as the Souza gets started. Nice, clean, steady pace as he gets down the line. Clean rail work, always expected out of the Souza. Wraps away through the inside corner to answer to Govea's start. Ian Govea in at a 3 1 7. And now Adriano setting up for this little inside wall. On the way to the ski, might as well see if he could ramp up. Going for a big snap right on the money and crushes the finishing move. Wow. Well, it uh, looks like that sand starting to fill in down at Little Marley there, Joe. That's that bonus section that we've been missing over the last few days. Generally, you want to let those go. You want that clean, beautiful, open face. But that thing turned into a nice little wave for uh, a Desoza's opening one. You can see right there. A lot of white water on the face, so generally a little bit harder to surf to get those cleaner lines, but geez, he's doing absolutely fantastic right now. Look at the speed that he gets, nice and low off the bottom. I love that low center of gravity that DeSouza gets. He's got this, literally this spring in his step when he comes off that bottom, keeps that board moving rail to rail, which makes things look so loose and so clean as well. And then right here, just the, the, the insight to go, you know what, I'm going to hang with this wave. Why? Because it's going to give me a little bonus section through that inside. It's going to give me maybe another half a point or so on my ride. And right here, finish strong, you get rewarded. Bang! Beautiful snap there from Decisor, throwing the fins out. And you see a big separation. I guess it's going to be fairly obvious, yeah. uh, keeping these scores tight. Go Vea, 3-1-7 to a 4-8-3. Fin blow, incomplete for Souza. Round two, heat number four underway, and Souza trying to reroute the theme of these giant names getting knocked out early in round two <laughs> and if you look at that final series draw you'd be going what is happening to the top 17 watching this big opening backside snap for Govea driving hard under the lip into a float crazy transitions through the best part of that wave now his second scoring ride will be locking in in this all Brazilian matchup I like those three turns though uh, you know point of difference on each one Unfortunately, getting caught behind the section there, but a lot of damage done along the way. I think where it will change the score is these big turns out the back with this first maneuver. Very important. He got that thing nice and vertical. Bit of a speed jam and then straight into that lip line float. So two critical maneuvers with a nice transition move in between. It's not going to be a bad score. I think it's going to go into his top two at this stage for sure. 26 on the clock here, Potts. And Govea likes to look at this little inside runner vertical blast second one has to carve through the lip quick hack right on the money again so already four big moves fades the cutty now looking for something on the inside to grow drills it hard off the top nice vertical motion for Govea and he'll just Hammer the maneuvers through the inside corner. Meanwhile, numbers are in. Govea, 377 on his way before. 3.77 was all about the outside maneuvers. Adriano started off with a 483. Speed float to come around the corner, and he'll end up having to step off. A short ride there, good for one float. Another heat's gonna that's gonna be extremely close. There's just so many positives to look at, and you know, coming into this year and just everything that's happened over the last couple of weeks, it's been pretty insane, you know, like I guess it's cool because I get to have that feeling that everyone else got who qualified at the end of last year and I kind of get to, you know, possibly have that feeling now in the beginning of the year. Going back to when he was in Sydney, even Julian Wilson's injury had people saying, hey, okay, you're probably going to be in, then Julian's back in the draw. So he's had a lot of waiting and anticipation to see if he'd get a start. Back to this one with DeSouza off the roof with a float, trying to combo it up. Challenge you to get above a five today. But he's done a lot of work, throwing some variety. Now through the inside track. And 
And now just waiting. He's getting a little low road bonus. Beautiful vert turn. 2015 world champ just working his way out through the inside. Definitely bettering that 1-6 without a problem compared to each other when you qualify and all the way to the end of your career. Late takeoff for DeSouza. Squares up Vert. Pin throw off the back. Another knife in the pocket for the 2015 oh. world champ. On the, on the flip side of the coin, DeSouza, watch this first turn. Bang, throws a tail out, showing some pizzazz into maneuver number two. Again, nice and vertical. Throws away the grab rail reverse. Leaving it open for Govea. Three big vertical hacks down the line. Crushes it again in motion for another big blast. Carves through this inside corner. Previous wave for DeSouza, 5.57. Five, Remember how hard it is to get above that five point range. That was a solid back and forth exchange. A tough one for DeSouza to lose control in that big maneuver. All he needed to do was finish that one off on his feet. Let's have a look at Gavea's first though. Beautiful opening maneuver. Straight into maneuver number two. Throwing a lot of spray. Putting power into it. Connecting nice and vertical, which is a point of difference in this heat. It's looking like Gavea's best wave so far. Watch the body language when he kicks out. That one felt good to him. So. These guys are quite up to with what, uh, you know, what feels good might score well. But Gavaya, this vertical attack, you can see how he pivots off that back foot. Look at the spray going into the air. That's an indication of the power that has been put into each turn. I like the fact that he's focusing on in each individual maneuver, giving it his undivided attention. 15 minute mark has already gone by. De Souza likes to look at this open wall. Nice clean snap, straight into a bottom turn, and a tail blow off the roof. Sweeping cutback. Oh, and I... slips off again down the line. We'll get back up. This will still be the same scoring ride, but DeSouza knows that he's made a huge mistake. Yeah. Had brilliance in those first four maneuvers. And he'll just work his way down the line. To recover from that. Remember, you still have to paddle back out on your own right. Ski assist called off after that first seat of the morning. And De Souza looks to recover as we wait for scores from that last exchange. Let's have a look and see what happened. I think the back foot slipped off. You know, even with the tail pads as good as they are in this day and age, sometimes your foot slips with just the power being put in a different place. There's fins, expecting the fins to slide right there, but he didn't get that slide. They gripped and what happened was the the momentum just slid his foot off the back a mistake right there for uh de souza but then decides to keep going with this which kind of surprised me wasting a bit of time bit of energy i'm not seeing too much more through the inside that's going to actually push that wave up into that five plus range joe so mentally de souza just trying to wipe off that slip but knowing that he's got to paddle back out so it went a long way on this one through the inside corner even with that hiccup down the line Let's have a look and see right here. As he goes into this turn, you can see pushing the back foot. Now he tries to release those fins, but they, they kind of grab. And what, what happens is the, the down the line momentum causes his back foot to slip off that tail pad. So unfortunate there for uh, De Souza, but then to, to be able to regather and get back up, I'm not sure whether that's gonna go into his top two, Joe. Is that better than a 4.83? Welcome back to live action, Adriano De Souza. Up and riding on a small inside runner here at Snapper Rocks. Packing in the maneuvers. Big fin throw. Recovers forward and gets out of there. Previous score finally in for De Souza to 5.83. Even with that big fall down the line. So he did some damage on those first four hooks to now get the best single score of the heat so far. And that improvement. Adriana running after it again. And gets a little bit hung up, so a quick fall. He's had a few of those here in round two today. Slipping off the tail a lot, isn't he? We're down to 6.50 remaining and a little wave running through. De Souza looks interested with his first turn. Clean off the lip. A lot of speed for a second hack. And he'll hop out of there. We know a hardest spin to break a five-point score, so we're calling that a quick throwaway with 6.30 remaining. That's the scale for the day. It's kind of the scale what we've seen you know, from the get-go. The only surfer really today that's gone into the sevens has been Mikey Wright. De Souza halfway down the line. Quick whip off the top. Into a nice carving turn. A man known as Minorino will just fade out again. So working hard and 
not improving on his top two. Six minutes on the clock. Ian Govea still needs a 5.74. We love diving into the title talk, especially with a lot of things changing in the first few heats of round two this morning. And I just beat the best surfer in the world. That was John John Florence at the time, before John clinched his first. But he was aware of the former Brazilian champions before him. As he speeds floats down the line, not much happening there. But on the podium, he talked about Fabio Govea, Ian's dad, who had four CT titles. And for Adriano, he had gotten his fourth at the time. An old theme way back <laughs> in the day. Let's see if it comes true. Sticking with Strider's question after this, minute 50, still to go. A lot of waves. That's his 13th of the matchup. Govea up and out as well. Still swinging for just a 5-7-4 with 90 seconds on the clock. Time ticking away. Into the countdown. Govea trying to get up before the horn. It looks like he could have just gotten this wave to count. Vertical blast there. Still in motion. Looking for another section to work with. A few solid attempts to try to get a 5.74. And we'll see if he got in in time. I think he just got to his feet. Was it enough though, Pons, to turn it? Super late drop, so kind of wiped a bit of speed off, so that first turn wasn't as dynamic as what we've seen. See how it was more of a lateral turn there, needed something a bit more vertical. Beautiful surfing, though, from Ian Gavaya. He's looking sharp, he's looking good. I think wave selection has come down to the difference there, and uh, Adriano de Souza is going to walk away with this one.